Alright guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix all the lag issues, all the performance issues, and if you should use the performance mode or not. Yes, I know, I've already told you guys if you should use it or not, but I got more info about the performance mode, so I'm going to be teaching you guys if you should turn it on or off. Because in the last video, it wasn't that clear, but in today's video, I'm going to be making it clear if you should turn it on or not. And I'm going to be teaching you guys everything to fix lag and FPS drop. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some other tweaks, so yeah. And also, of course, I'm doing a free battle pass giveaway. Now, if you want to enter, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then use code RAISE in the Fortnite item shop. Then comment your your fortnite username down below and yeah let's just get straight into the video all right all right all right we're back in the video so what do you have to do should you turn performance mode or not i'm gonna be showing you guys all my fortnite settings and i'm also gonna be explaining everything and also if you guys can even turn performance mode on if you restart it just goes back to direct x 11 or 12 i'm still fixing that for you guys as well so i'm gonna be teaching you guys everything so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys my settings so i'm gonna go my settings so right here so Display mode. Just set it to full screen. Uh, you'll be good to go. For a resolution, you should set it to your monitor's native resolution. But if you are getting trash FPS, I recommend it to lower your resolution. You can set it to 900p. It doesn't really look that bad. 720p looks kind of bad, but it's still really good. And if you will get a huge performance boost, so do that. Now, frame rate limit. Just set it to whatever you're getting consistently. As I've told in my all my past videos, graphics. You don't even need to do anything here. It just doesn't affect your performance. Colorblind mode. You can just set it to whatever. You you want for graphics set everything to low except textures if your gpu is getting bottlenecked by your cpu so if your cpu is at high usage please set your textures to high so your graphics card also does some work and it affects your performance a lot so do that and you'll be good to go so, so what i recommend you guys to set the 3d resolution to is lowest it should be at 80 don't lower it than 80 because it will look bad but yeah so once that's done over to graphics settings vsync of course that should be turned off motion blur turn it off show fps turn it if you want turn it off if you don't so now we're on running mode now i'm going to be teaching you guys if you should turn the performance mode on or off so now if you're on a low-end pc just set it to performance mode all right guys so now for a mid-range pc now if your cpu has more than four cores or at least four cores you should turn off performance mode so how do you check your cores well just go in your taskbar just click on the taskbar and then go over to performance now you go, go over to cpu and you'll see this now just look at course if it's as four or more than four so if it's four or more than four uh, turn off performance mode as it disables multi-threaded rendering so you don't want that disabled and if you don't have four or more cores please turn on performance mode because it really helps with your fps now for high-end pcs now for high-end you can do whatever you want to be honest just set it to performance mode if you want more fps and less input delay i really set it to direct x12 i have like a mid-range pc not really mid-range but still it's a mid-range uh and yeah i set it to direct x12 because i don't really like the new performance mode like the buildings i, I don't really, really like it so now multi-thread rendering if, if you haven't turned on performance mode please turn this one on gpu crash debugging turn it off latency markers is just to check your latency so just turn it off turn it on if you want to check your latency nvidia reflex low latency uh turn it on if you want uh it really lowers your fps it, not a lot but 10 percent i think so turn it on if you want lower latency and turn it off for the best fps latency flash of course turn it off ray tracing man please don't turn it on if you're turning it on i don't know what you're doing so now i'm going to be showing guys all the tweaks you can do to get better fps so let's just get into it all right guys so the next step is to make sure that you have the latest uh, cpu and gpu drivers now if you are using an nvidia gpu just download geforce now i've already downloaded it so once you don't do that just search up geforce now and then open it if you have a amd graphics card i can't help you because i don't have one but you can search on youtube how to update your amd graphics card it's really easy so you can do that so once you're here in geforce experience go over to drivers and then click on check for updates now once you click on check for updates it will say you have the latest game driver so for you you might get an update uh for me i've already uh, updated to the latest one but if you have an update please update it as it will give you the best performance as it's the latest graphic card version and the game will be way better and yeah once you update your drivers just head over to your settings once you're here please turn on in-game overlay as it improves the performance and it also helps you to take videos screenshots and every other kind of stuff easily and it doesn't really hurt performance as much so you can you 
also use uh, in-game overlay to record your videos, your you know instant replays or something, whatever it is. And yeah, let's get on to the next step. All right, guys. So in this step, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your uh, computer use more power for better performance. Because your your computer might be using less power to save power, but if you want the best FPS, you you want your computer to use a lot of power not a lot but it's still gonna use a bit more power than it used to so what you have to do is search up edit power plan now press enter once you're here uh click over to power options and then you will see balanced and high performance it's i have ultimate performance but it's still just uh, just the higher performance option it's just the name changed but yeah if you're unbalanced please set it to high performance all right so once that's done just close the window all right guys so in this step i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your graphics card uh, give the most priority to Fortnite. so when you're running the game uh, it will be smooth and your graphics card will just focus on Fortnite and nothing else so how do you do it you may ask well what do you have to do is just search up uh just go in your search bar and type in graphics settings now once you do that uh, click click over to browse so once you click that just go over where you can install the game i installed it in my c drive so once that's done just go over to fortnite then go to fortnite game then go to binaries then go to win64 once that's done you'll see all these things now what you have to do is just click on fortnite client win64 shipping now once that's done just click on it click on add and you have added and you have added it now what you have to do is go over and click on options and then click on high performance and then save i've already done it so i'm going to remove it but yeah you should do it and it will really help your performance all right guys so this is the next step and now this tweak is to fix the stutters and uh, input lag and yeah i found the this tweak from adamax thanks to adamax uh, his link will be in the description please subscribe to him but yeah but yeah this tweak is really helpful i just tried it and it, it really affected my performance and also gave me better less input lag and better fps so like uh, just a little bit but still it's gonna uh, reduce all the stutters and stuff Alrighty, so how do you do it you may ask well just go in your search button and then type in registry editor now you'll see this so just click on open and if it asks you to say yes or no just click on yes and this will open so guys what you have to do is go over to h key uh local machine click on the arrow thing and then find system and then again click on the arrow thing now go over to the current control set click on it and then go to controls now scroll down to you find priority uh, control click on it and then you'll see these three files then just go double click on the windows 32 priority separation and then uh set the value to 28 make sure it's hexadecimal not decimal make sure it's hexadecimal and when you set it to 28 it's going to give you the uh, least uh, input lag and it's also going to be uh, it's also going to help you get um, less stars so yeah do it and you'll be good to go you also don't have to restart for this to take effect so you, you don't even have to re restart i just go over in the creative match and check it out it really works and it really helped me out now press ok and you'll be good to go now you can close this all right guys so in this step i'm going to teach you guys how to fix stutters and this step is going to really help you with the stutters and stuff so what do you have to do well all right so just go in your file explorer so now just find where you stored fortnite so for me i installed it in my c drive so i'm just going to go where my fortnite is so it's right here so just go over to the fortnite folder uh it can be anywhere so just find your fortnite folder go over to fortnite and then go to fortnite game go to binaries go to win64 and then you'll be here so you need to find the application called fortnite client win64 shipping now just right click on it click on properties once that's done go over to compatibility so once you're in compatibility what you have to do is just check the disable full screen optimization now once that's done go over to change high dpi settings and then uh, also check override high dpi scaling behavior just check on it click on ok click on that and click on ok and you'll be good to go now let's go over to the next step all right guys so in this step i'm going to be teaching guys how to uh how to turn off background apps so you can need to stop background apps running and which you know takes all the performance and stuff so yeah so what you have to do is just uh, go over to your search bar and again go to settings once you're here uh go over to privacy once you're there scroll down till you find background apps now turn all of them off they're just trash microsoft apps which you don't need they're all trash don't turn them on and yeah just turn all the background apps off once that's done um you can find notifications i think yeah 
So once uh, once you are here, uh, just turn on notifications off too. All right, guys. So this step is only for NVIDIA graphics card users. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can follow the steps. So what you have to do is just go over to your desktop and just right click and go over to your NVIDIA control panel. Now, if you haven't on installed NVIDIA control panel, please install it. Uh, I'm not gonna go over how to, but yeah, just install it and then open it. Once that's done, you'll see this. Now, what you have to do is just go over to manage 3D settings. Now, once you're here, copy all my settings. So, image uh, sharpening, just turn it off, and all this stuff. Just turn all of these uh, image settings off. So, just copy all my settings. They're all the best settings, and the, one of the most important settings is uh, power management mode. Now, just set it to prefer maximum performance. Once that's done, also change the prefer refresh rate to the max you can do. So just change it to the highest available. Once that's done, just follow, uh, just co copy all my settings, I guess. So yeah. Also, texture filtering quality, turn it to high performance. You don't want better quality. More FPS is better than better quality. So yeah. All right, guys. So just copy all my settings. I'm, I'm again going to go over it. And yeah. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. Please join my Battle Pass giveaway. And yeah, use code RaisingT49MShop. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.